A paper that announced the rediscovery of the ivory-billed woodpecker in Arkansas in 2005 was the first report of this elusive bird by ornithologists in several decades. This exciting news motivated searches in other areas, and another group of ornithologists reported a series of sightings in Florida the following year. During my search for the ivory-billed woodpecker, I focused mainly on the Pearl River Swamp in Louisiana, where I had nine sightings and obtained videos in 2006 and 2008. Early in 2007, I visited Jeff Hill's study area in the Choctahatchee River Swamp in Florida. On January 19th, several members of the search team were spreading out around an area where a pair of ivory-billed woodpeckers had been observed the previous day. I flanked around the area toward which the birds had flown late the previous afternoon and found them at the location marked by the star. I came upon a pair of ivory-billed woodpeckers that were making spectacular swooping flights consistent with historical accounts. I was using a high-def video camera that was mounted on the kayak paddles. With this setup, it is possible to get the camera on a bird almost instantly. When I came upon the birds, the camera had been recording for nearly an hour and I had to rewind the tape. Blockage in the bayou prevented me from moving closer in the kayak. The birds flew away when the observer on the previous day attempted to approach them. I remained behind the blockage in the bayou in order to avoid flushing the birds, which were far away and came in and out of view through openings in the vegetation during flights. I used a wide-angle zoom setting and kept the camera aimed in the direction of the birds. I obtained more than 20 minutes of video footage which includes several swooping flights, takeoffs with deep and rapid wing beats, a double knock, and other interesting behaviors. There are several amazing swooping flights in the video, including landings with long vertical ascents that are consistent with an account by Eckleberry of a landing with one magnificent upward swoop. During a long vertical ascent, there is time for maneuvering. During two of the landings in the video, the bird appears to rotate about its axis and land on a surface that doesn't face the direction of approach, as illustrated here. Also shown in this illustration is a typical landing by a pileated woodpecker on a surface that faces the direction of approach after swooping upward a short distance. In one of the events, both of the birds are visible at the same time. Within a few seconds, they both take off with a combination of deep and rapid flaps and loud wooden wing sounds that seem to be a perfect fit for this account by Tanner. The combination of deep and rapid flaps and wing sounds that are loud enough to be audible from a distance doesn't seem to be consistent with any species other than the ivory-billed woodpecker. This event begins just over five minutes into the video. In this frame from the video, the red boxes indicate the locations where the birds appear. In the description of this YouTube movie, there is a link to supplementary movies at the Zenodo Data Repository. The takeoffs with deep and rapid flaps may be seen and heard by downloading movie S13. It is best to view that movie on a large monitor and use good speakers with the volume turned all the way up. This full quality movie might not play smoothly on old computers. It isn't possible to present this event in full quality in this YouTube movie. The event begins when the first bird comes in for a landing with a long vertical ascent. This movie plays at full speed. It shows a landing in which the bird ascends vertically for a long distance. This maneuver seems unusual even for a bird that was reported by Audubon to have extreme flight behavior. It doesn't seem to be consistent with any other candidate species. 
Several similar events were captured in 25 minutes of footage during the encounter. Before the ascent begins, there's a prominent white patch that appears to be on the dorsal surface in this area. There is blur due to camera motion, but the appearance of the vegetation indicates that this frame is sharp. This is the underside of the bird after it swooped upward. The body is black, including the belly. The underside of the right wing is mostly white. These field marks track along with the motion of the bird, and they are only consistent with the two large woodpeckers. The flight maneuver rules out pileated woodpecker. The bird lands in this area. About 20 seconds later, it flies to the right and shows a black body and lots of white on the wings. Let's take a closer look at the field marks. When the wings of an ivory-billed woodpecker are folded onto the back, they form a white triangular patch that appears in this historical photo. This feature has a rather unique appearance when viewed from the side on a bird in flight, as in this film of the closely related imperial woodpecker, which has nearly identical field marks. When the wings are folded closed, the black body is shaped like a football with a thin sliver of white on the upper left. A similar set of field marks is visible when the bird in the video folds its wings closed. The football shaped body, the thin sliver of white in the upper left. The similar field marks in the imperial woodpecker. Just before the bird in the video disappears behind vegetation, it appears to have black leading edges and white trailing edges on the dorsal surfaces of the wings. While the first bird was landing, the second bird was diving behind the trunk of a tree or perhaps into a cavity with a motion that is similar to the motion of an ivory-billed woodpecker diving into a cavity in the historical film. 23 seconds later, the bird took off from behind the tree with deep and rapid flaps that are consistent with historical accounts. This flight and the ones that follow are shown at half speed. The deep and rapid flaps are similar to the flaps of the closely related imperial woodpecker taking off. The bird in the 2006 video took off with similar deep and rapid flaps. The pileated woodpecker takes off into level non-escape flights with a much lower flap rate as illustrated in these representative examples. The vertically ascending landings don't seem to be consistent with any other candidate species. Several of them were captured in less than 25 minutes of video footage. These examples play at half speed. In this case, the view appears to be from the side when the bird comes into view but the view seems to be of the mostly white underwings as the bird lands near the top of the field of view. It appears that the bird rotated about its axis and landed on a surface that doesn't face the direction of approach as illustrated here. This movie plays at half speed. It shows a downward swooping takeoff followed by a vertically ascending landing. The view of the takeoff over here is from the side. The view of the landing over here is ventral. 
Once again, it appears that the bird rotated about its main axis during the vertical ascent. Let's look at this frame in detail. It's difficult to resolve details against the bright background, but the body appears to be dark colored and the underwings appear to be light colored. These field marks are consistent with the ivory-billed woodpecker, which has a black body and underwings that appear mostly white in good light conditions, as in this photo. The amount the tail projects behind the wings is about the same as the width of the wings, and that is consistent with this photo of an ivory-billed woodpecker. The width of the body near the base of the tail is a substantial fraction of the width of the wing, and that is also consistent with this photo of an ivory-billed woodpecker. On the other hand, the pileated woodpecker has a lower body mass and broader wings than the ivory-billed woodpecker, and the width of the body at the base of the tail is significantly smaller than the width of the wings. The dorsal surfaces of the wings are visible during the downward swooping takeoff. Let's take a look at this frame and make comparisons with the body proportions that appear during the landing. Part of the left wing appears as a thin dark band. Is the trailing boundary of the dark band the trailing boundary of the wing? If so, the width of the wing and the amount the tail projects behind the wing would not be consistent with corresponding features that appear in this image during the landing. So the wing apparently extends behind the dark band into this area, and the dorsal surface of the wing apparently has a white trailing edge. The bird appears climbing after the landing. There are several prominent flashes of white that are consistent with the white triangular patch on the folded wings. This is a key field mark of the ivory-billed woodpecker that appears in this historical photo by James Tanner. So the bird is climbing up and it comes into view here. And here there's, there are strong flashes of white right in the area where the, where the white uh, triangular patch would be expected. There's actually a hint of it in, an, in some of the earlier frames here. Then when the bird gets up here, there's another strong flash from this area. And another one here. Now the bird is on this branch, and there's another strong flash of white, which seems to rotate around the tree as the bird rotates around to the other side of this branch that it's on. In this version of the footage of the climbing, software has been used to reduce the effects of camera motion in order to make it easier to compare with an ivory-billed woodpecker climbing in the Singer Track film. Both movies play at half speed. During a short flight across this opening in the vegetation, the bird appears to have a lot of white on the wings and a black body. A few seconds later, the bird is partially visible through a gap in the vegetation and appears to be making side-to-side -side motions. Then the bird is visible climbing in this area. The bird moves to the right. Then it moves back to the left before perching upright and delivering a blow that produces a double knock that is audible in the video. To hear the double knock, the video clip may be downloaded from the supplemental material 
of a paper that came out in Helion in 2017. Immediately after delivering the blow, the bird took off and rapidly accelerated with powerful wing beats into an upward swooping flight in this area. This flight doesn't seem to be consistent with a pileated woodpecker. Before delivering the blow, the bird engages in two behaviors that do not seem to be consistent with any of the common woodpeckers. But one of the behaviors is consistent with the ivory-billed woodpecker, and the other behavior appears in the only 85 seconds of film that exists for the imperial woodpecker. In the 1956 film, the imperial woodpecker flails its wings apparently for balance. The bird in the video flailed its wings while moving to the left and then after perching. The left wing is flailed upward in this area and then out to the side. In film from the Singer tract, ivory billed woodpeckers repeatedly make side to side motions while perched on their tails. The bird in the video makes similar motions just after moving to the right. It also appears to have made those motions while visible through a gap in the vegetation before climbing. Let's listen to what John Fitzpatrick of the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology has to say about this behavior. There's the male, that was the female with a curly crest. There's the male, you can see the uh, slightly bushier but still very pointed crest, pale in the black and white. Huge amount of white on the back, that uh, features later in uh, the presentation of the Luno video. Look at that motion back and forth. That was something that Tanner described that was almost constant, perpetual motion of these birds whipping back and forth during their whole day, foraging and at the nest. So there they are together. Again, the back and forth motions visible. The footage of the climb has been enhanced here to bring out evidence of a red crest. Only the male ivory-billed woodpecker has a red crest. This is apparently the only evidence for this species that shows signs of gender. There are also signs of a red crest when the bird makes side-to-side -side motions. At two minutes and two seconds into the video, there was a downward swooping takeoff followed by a long horizontal glide. The bird was far behind the trees in the foreground and was hidden behind vegetation part of the time. The flight path is represented by the green curve. This maneuver doesn't seem to be consistent with any other candidate species, but it is consistent with an account by Audubon. The flight is shown in two movies that were cropped from the video in the red boxes. In the first movie, the bird takes off here. Now I'm going back and forth just showing the bird taking off. Then it can be seen passing through this area as it's leveling off. So let's just let this play a few times. These movies play at half speed. In the second movie, the underwings appear mostly white in, in this area in the reflection from the water. I'm letting it play a few times. <laughs> 